Hello everybody, John here for John and Pammy. We're uh, doing a little bit of different things today. I worked myself this morning at my real job for a couple hours, then I came home and had lunch with Pam and brought her to her job. <laughs> and I came home and uh, on the way home I paid the power bill, which I thought was late, but I actually wasn't due until the 13th. Today is the uh, 8th, so gotta pay on time. Can't happen. But I stopped, uh, I found a video after that, and they had a really good sale going on. That any videos with this sticker, if you found 10 of them, they were a dollar each. So it was 10 for 10. And if you found this sticker, and you found 5 of them, you got 5 for 10. And then also, uh, I got a video games for us to play. We wanted to get a Street Fighter again, because we used to have this game. The cover is a copy, but it's just for us. We're not going to resell it. And then we'll figure out this one. This is uh, Most Wanted for uh, Need for Speed. I didn't look any of these up because they're just for us to play. We, we used to have a bunch of fighting games a long time ago and then Batmans and so forth. And I stopped playing games for a while because we were so busy with eBay and everything. And then now we're getting back into it again. Anyway, I got all these games here, or all these videos here for 20 bucks. There's another five for those over there. Those for us though. So anyway, um, this one was two bucks. It's worth uh, anywhere from 15 to 22. Depending on how I want to sell it, it is the entire season, first season, of uh, Fear of the Walking Dead. And then I also have, actually no, right to the back, this one's not worth a lot. This one's only worth like two bucks. This one's worth about 15 to 20, but it is Blu-ray as well. So, it's the original cover, which a lot of times I found in video, they don't have those. <laughs> but anyway, just show what they are here is Killing Joan. This was a dollar. Um, this pile here is worth uh, 15 or more. Um, the Sandman, and these change these prices may change by the time these uh, this video comes out too, because they change every day. But anyway, everything over here is worth uh, about twelve to fifteen. So that's that. And these ones here are worth uh, five to ten. This one here, I believe, was only worth about three. It wasn't really a big one. Pretty much what they were charging for it. <laughs> uh, this one I think was worth about nine. Strange enough, this is only worth about eight bucks. It's a whole season of how to get away with murder, but it's only worth about eight dollars for a whole with cover on it. Uh, this one was a dollar, so I threw it for about nine. I think this one came out on about, about eight. And a lot of these were like five or seven. This one was like seven, I think. Five. But even if I sell, I paid a dollar for this DVD. If I sell it for five, give free shipping, I made I made a dollar. So, double my money. <laughs> All I got for right now, just the DVDs there. Um, I still got to photograph the clothes from yesterday. Uh, Pam did get the earrings off of Poshmark, though. So if people want to buy the earrings from the last haul, they're up there. I don't know what she charged for me. It was like 20 or 15. Um, it's up to her because she, she runs the Poshmark. I just help her with uh, some of the pictures and the uh, packaging sometimes. And I also do some of the listing. If I'm listing something on eBay, it looks pretty cool. I'll cross post it over to Poshmark as well. But she's, it's her store. Um, I have my eBay store. She has her eBay store. And we have the store. I have my other eBay store. And then I have Macari. And, uh, I have a couple other apps that I'm looking into, like Depop and a few things like that. But I run, like, about four or five different, uh, internet things to sell stuff on. And then she does, uh, Uper Classifieds. Uh, Facebook Marketplace and Poshmark. So we're both busy doing the reselling as well as other things. Gotta keep busy. Uh, we're supposed to be in the business of selling stuff. And it seems like we're more collecting than anything because we got over here about 400, probably about 500 pieces of clothing that we're trying to sell right now. <laughs> and we're still buying more. But that's the way stores go. That's the way it is. Still got the Mr. Potato Head sitting here. Got to figure out what I'm going to do with him. I got the other parts here too. Might do a big lot of all of them. Maybe sometime soon. This is the donation stuff. I decided not to sell the shoes for the last uh, video because they were damaged and I don't want to sell some of the damaged product. But I'll get these cleaned up and they'll be going up on eBay probably, uh, well, probably by Sunday if not sooner. I still got all these other ones to process through. I got the skate game, which is okay. It works fine, but I really don't care for it. A bunch of other things over here. This whole, this whole desk is all full of stuff, except for the sprays and the thank you cards. 
and of scale. Everything else on this desk is all stuff we're trying to sell. And of course the tape, tape roller, we're keeping that too. But uh, we do have an extra tape gun. We may, uh, if we actually, we need money sometime. <laughs> my uh, collection over here is growing quite, pretty good. These are all my video games that I have for myself. Uh, we decided to keep the Tekken hybrid for now. Uh, we do have PS4 games, you know, we don't have the PS4 yet. There's my Wii collection. There's my 360s. And all my PS3s. These ones here are the ones that I'm trying to sell. Uh, Mag can no longer go on the internet to play it. The CDs I just put up there, they're uh, from that Vinny's haul. Out of all the ones that were in that pile on the desk from the last haul for Vinny's, that's the only one they're selling. Uh, Halo 3, um, Halo is supposed to be a great game, so I bought it. It wasn't that great to me. And of course, the ones I still got to test out, I just showed you. I played Mario, that's, that's what I've had there forever. But the Street Fighter and Most Wanted. I uh, got the first two Batmans, and then we got an Xbox 360 wrestling to see how that is. <clears throat> Personally, I prefer the Xbox for like um, platformers. Um, you see the games I have over here. Um, there's, that's a, it's actually a PS3 wrestling game, uh, but I do have, oh, I haven't played this one either, there's basketball, but I have a Dead Rising game, this fighter one I just got to try out the, uh, um, thing connect, the connector that we have there, it does work, got a couple of arcade games, we got a fighting game and then a Soul Calibur, which is also a fighting game. Of course, on the uh, PS3, I like the the third person where you can see yourself and you can go around and do stuff like Uncharted and Ratchet Clank and so forth. Uh, as far as the Wii, I like the classical games like Mario Brothers, uh, some of the sports games because we do like playing with these ones here, Sports Resort. These are the ones that came with our Wii. Um, I wanted this to play, but it won't play. I, don't, I can't get it. I bought it and the, the lady returned my money, but. Anyway, before I ramble on for two or three hours. Oh, yeah, I beat. I made pasties from scratch. Right there. Boy, you've been slaving all day or what? Yeah, I rolled out the dough. I ran over a rat on the way home, cut up, threw it in there. I dug up some potatoes from the backyard. And some carrots and rutabaga. Onions? Onions and everything else is in there. Those look really good. Now they're going to go down for a while. So that's that's uh, what you call uh, uh, youper food. Yeah, sorry, pasties. Never mind, these bags over here. Yeah. Well, we got those in the oven. Well, you... yeah, they're, already, did... they're already cooked, just warming them up. So you cook yeah, them. I just gotta warm them up, and I just got home, so um, we're gonna have have that, and I know what else are you doing. Uh, just go watch TV, I guess. Watch TV, fall asleep on the couch. Yep, and I gotta go back tomorrow at 10.30 a.m., so. Yeah, me too. Yep, so anyway, that's that's all we're doing today. tonight. We're kind of chilling out. Yep, we'll be, uh, tomorrow won't be anything because we both work and then we'll probably just go home and do the same thing. Yep. I think tomorrow we're having uh, the chicken pasta we have from another video. Yeah. And then uh, Sunday is the half price day at Goodwill, so I'll probably stop in there. And, and we'll have, probably have a video there. If we have a, if I find anything, we'll have it all. But, yeah. So. Otherwise, I, I listed all the DVDs from earlier, and they're all, uh, ready to go and there's too many to put on the shelf anymore so yeah here's the here's the clothes that we still got a um yeah, i showed them earlier in the other video we gotta make take pictures of those and here's all the dvds i got earlier and they're they're all listed on ebay go ahead and buy them all whoa got fear of the walking dead and kelly and joan and yeah so if you want these tracer send us a message and just, just go um, on eBay, Tramcon 1970. Okay. And um uh, I also got um my earrings. I got I got a couple more uh, purses. I got I got this purse here. I'm gonna put up there. This uh this clayborn. And then I got another one. This one, the 31. And I'm gonna put that one up on Poshmark. But all my earrings are up there, so if you want to go on my Poshmark store, it's just at Emperor. 1220 mm -hmm. and just my name and at Empire 1220 and go on my store and and uh also check out random word 2070 that's our men's clothing and sorts and Pam's closet was it 2057 yep yeah Pam's closet 2057 for women's clothing mostly plus size 
But there is other stuff out there too. Yeah. Okay, so that's all we got tonight. Uh, I'm tired and I want to sit and relax. So it's uh, after 7 and it, we're eating supper late tonight. So uh, this is Tammy John saying later. Eh? Here's the pasty. Looks like I'll spot and ketchup with salt and pepper, right? Yeah. I'll show you over here what they come out like. These were actually purchased from our local pasty shop. I didn't actually make them. Not that I pulled it away there, but yeah. <laughs> I like to chop mine up. Yeah. There's no wrong way to make them. They all taste good with you. Hmm? You can see what's in there. Potatoes and... Yep. Meat. Meat and rutabaga and whatever else you want to put them. They do make them also vegetarian without meat, which I never tried, but I'm sure mm. they're okay. Mm. Cold. It's more, more a little bit. When we were uh, kids, we used to go with chocolate milk, but I can't have chocolate milk anymore. No, I gotta have, I gotta have, uh, um, cold pop. Yeah. I like cold it. pop with milk. But some of uh, the Finlanders, like me, yeah. drink hot coffee with pasty. It is a misconception that pasties are Finnish, that they're actually not, they're um, English. <laughs> yeah, well. It's a, it's a meat pie. That they just make it. A, a, and then the pins, uh, the pins came in the copy then. Uh, <coughs> actually, it's the uh, Cornish from Cornwall, which is what my is. Yeah. They're the ones that made it originally. Then the Finnish took, you know. The yeah, finished it. Yeah, that's what they did. So, but it's still good. I can make it. Sorry, everybody. Mm -hmm. I'll do a video. Something we don't see very video. often. Huh? So we don't see it very often. The top of our table. I just got done clearing it off a little bit. That's all our cleaning stuff we use for the clothing and other things. Parental stickers, pens, tape, our scale. These are some things that I'm going to probably put on uh, eBay soon. The camera doesn't work from the last uh, haul. I just got to work on the bottom. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, screw it right below the crap. Yeah, bad weather coming. But, uh, yeah, now I'll take out the rest of the house and figure out what's going on here. Here's Pam waking up for the morning. Mm. We both got work today at uh, 10, 3, 11, so. Yep. Fun day. And tomorrow, um, I'm off, she's not. Yep. But, uh. Enjoy the sun when it's here. Here's no day off a reseller because we resell every day. Yeah. We had one sale last night. It was a. Uh, Alfred Dunner. Alfred Dunner uh, top for one. Pam's closet. 15 bucks on Pam's closet, so after mm -hmm. fees and shipping, put $10 off. Yep. So. Make it $10 a day. So we're living a life. Living a dream. Oh, another morning. Make it our signature uh, eggs here. These are whole eggs, medium. There are six of them in there with above, eh, let's say a quarter of milk, maybe half cup. And Colby Jack cheese, cut up sausage legs, and half roast. And a little bit of salt and pepper. Oh, it's done. Smoke alarm went out, so it's already almost ready. Mam's over here ready for her day. She's got to work at uh, Dude. Yeah. Over here. Get off the wood a little bit. <laughs> See, uh, up here. See our soft arm. All both edges of it. That's what uh, TV6 referred to as a storm. Went to blow TV. And, uh, had one sale this morning. So far. We sold a shirt on uh, last night, and we sold this one this morning, Kelly Joan DVD. That's one of the ones I paid a dollar for a couple days ago and got 12 bucks for it. Today is uh, Sunday, March uh, something or other, March 10th, and uh, Goodwill has their half price day today, so I'll be checking it there. I'm still got the clothes sit there from last time, I got get photographed yet, I haven't washed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens today. I got a message back from Brad Seller saying she accepted our, uh, our, um, Thing to do the 
threat to wars if they ever do them again. So we'll see what happens there. We'll have to get a hold of the hustler and uh, and Rick and all them and see if they're still doing it. <laughs> maybe with her star power and our little little uh, fan base, maybe we'll get a thing going. There's Pam doing her poshmark. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to. I don't want to put this too long. Um, it's a 31 bag. So I'm trying to get this. Try to figure out what this is here. This is leather or fake leather or. I don't know. I think probably fake leather. Well, I know. You could do a fall leather if you want. F A U X. Fall leather. F A U X? Yeah, fall leather. F A U X. Leather. Space leather, yeah. Border. Top zipper. Okay. That's good. Hope that's not too long. Top border and strap, something like that? Yeah. Top zipper. This will be going up there today for about $2,000. Yeah. So, I got these up there for probably... I think I got my other ones up there for 30 so I'm going to probably put this up there for 30 too. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then I got... Yeah, yeah. This paper one. Yeah. Okay, let's see here. We're watching YouTube ourselves here. So, this was $5. It's a yarn I was digging through the... Table that's cleaned off here, they rich there. I found a whole bunch of stuff that I had bought this past summer in a fresh list. We'll see if uh, this stuff's worth anything. I, mean, I guess it may not be because it's probably why I was sitting there. These are my most guitars, they, the batteries died because I stopped using them. Oh, still hard at it, even though Pam's got work in an hour, she's still doing Poshmark. Hi, everybody. Wait, buddy, back, back kind of far. Anyway, I uh, just got back from the good old half price sale. Over here, so you can see the clothes a bit. Uh, everything was half price at the usual price. This uh, originally been four dollars, but it was two. It is a Bentley Plus 3X women's. Oh, had that washed and. I might want to keep it, but we'll see. <laughs> it's a holster size. Uh, and this is a Fila women's shirt. And it is a 2X. A nice workout shirt for somebody that's trying to wear a t-shirt for some reason. <laughs> anyway, next up is a uh, other woman's shirt. This is a Bobby Brooks. I got one of these in the last haul as well. This one's a little better, nicer for summer, and it's got nice uh, roses or carnations on there, depending on your opinion. I think I think they're supposed to be roses, but that's one of the carnations. But you tell me. <laughs> so that one. And this I actually got from the men's section, but it could be either. I don't know if I'd wear it myself, but it's a lime green Mickey Mouse. And it is Disney. I think it's a, a medium. That would probably is a man's because man's medium is a little bigger than women's. But at first I thought it was a scrub top, but it's not. Although it could be. And last of that bag, got three bags total. This is a Star Wars shirt. And it's a it's a pre Disney, so it's pretty good. Classic Starters on here. Hey, nice bag. Oh, yeah, there. Okay. That's our bag. <laughs> uh, anyway. Last up is uh, Double XL Columbia. This is really a really nice shirt. I might put it up for sale or I might just keep this one myself. It looks pretty nice. I'm going through the rest here. So I looked at it the other day we were there, but it was ten bucks, so I waited till today to get it for five. It was a Pendleton. Really nice uh, Western style shirt. It's got the cloudy pearl snaps, and I think it is a large. That one. Okay, 
Yeah, this is also a man's, believe it or not. When I first looked at it, I thought it was a woman's jacket, but... Um, it's still the Korean company. And it's an XL. It's really nice. Big red shirt here. The only thing I don't like about these is that... That sound... It's not, I don't know, it's not like it sounds really rough on a garbage bag. But, once you get over that, you're okay. Nice shirt. And the last one I debated on because it is a Chaps. I know that Chaps is one of the brands that a lot of people sell and don't get a lot for. But it is a double XL. It does have some wild colors on it. It's easy care and it's brand new. I figure if nothing else, I'll just wear it myself. That's all the clothing. Then I'm going to head up over here. I'm going to see if this works on our TV. I don't have high hopes because I've been trying different things over the years here. Uh, we get... Um, the three channel sixes here, and that's about it. And there's just too many hills to go through an antenna. But there's a stand for it, and then there's the uh, TV three way. Um, basically, you just put this thing, plug it into the back of your TV, and then you put it on the stand, and you put that somewhere, and it's supposed to give you free TV. Supposed to. So we'll see what happens with that. It's only about 50. Not a big deal. Um, all together, including a donation, was 27 bucks. Uh, not, not too bad. It would have cost me twice that because half off day. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's what we do with our videos. We do the. We show you what we buy from thrift stores and different places. And sometimes we keep it for ourselves. Sometimes we sell it. Sometimes we do a little bit of both. We'll wear it for a while. Get tired of it. Um, I do have a lot of DVDs up right now on the Termco 70, 1970. That's a, the uh, eBay store that we sell our um, items that are not clothing on. <laughs> and uh, also on the, the other ones, these will be going up on the uh, Pam's Closet 2057 and Tramco 2070. No, Random Wear 2070, sorry. Tramco 1970 is our store that we wear. Our things on. We also have the Macari. There's a few things up there right now. That's uh, just John Pam on McCurry. Uh, Pam's store is at Empire 1220. Um, that used to be where we lived before we moved the first time together. Uh, actually, after you, after you. Our, the first house we had together was on Empire Street. It was an apartment. And um, her birthday is 1220. So. <laughs> she was a lot of stuff with that. And that's... Uh, all the stores I can think of right now, we uh, also sell on uh, Facebook and a few other things, but for right now, that's all I got for now. Remember to hit the thumbs up button, leave some comments down below. Uh, we've been uh, hoping to hear from uh, some of our regulars, but um, nobody's been commenting lately. <laughs> uh, but say whatever you want. We're uh, dealing right now with our thing here you can't really see it was it's too bright with the window there it's a nice bright sunny day but at the same time it's snowing go figure later